My name is Phoebe. I am the director and the co-founder of the Children's Art Gallery. It's a social enterprise. Basically what we do is we support children's well-being through the exhibition and sale of their artwork. For me it's very exciting to see that the industry is really changing. I think galleries across the market are seeing a big change in who their clientele is. We're seeing a lot of young people who are not just wanting to invest in art that will build value for them over time, but they're looking to invest in something that is impactful, that they connect to, that has a story, that they know that they'll help the artist through their purchases as well. So we're starting to see that a lot of people who are passionate about art and young and are wanting to make an impact through their purchases, who want to make a social impact, are, are the majority of the new clientele that are coming into the Children's Art Gallery. So the gallery represents a pretty incredible platform of child artists. All of our artists at the moment are between the age of 7 years and 17 years old. The majority of our artists come from underprivileged backgrounds. So from the beginning, I would say the gallery has really specifically chosen to work with children who just have that natural passion and creative drive to create artwork. We get a really wide breadth of different types of art that we get to process and work with and exhibit. So basically how we choose the art really comes down to the artists themselves. First of all, a profile of the child is submitted to the gallery where we, where we get to know them, we get to see a few different pieces of their artwork that they've been working on, and those submissions are taken to the gallery's curatory board. And from there, the curatory board gets to talk about where we picture ourselves representing this artist, how we picture exhibiting their artwork, and it's a really incredible basis to be able to sit with a group of like-minded people and get to really break down and understand children's art on a deeper level. And so from there is how we decide to represent the artists that we work with. We're about to reach our one year anniversary as being officially open to the public and when we opened our doors to the public and had our first exhibition, we had about seven children that we were displaying and trying to sell their artwork. And at that point, you know, we were really wondering if this idea would work, that we could take incredible artwork done by children, create an interest in those fine art pieces, and then sell those pieces and be able to turn the proceeds back to the artist where that child would have access to better education, healthcare, and creative development. And I'll say that from that first exhibition, things just really took flight. It was almost a domino effect where we really saw not only was there a really incredible impact story, but that people were really interested in investing in that impact as well. And I think because we started off with a strong foundation of advocating for accessibility for children to engage with art by not only viewing artwork, but also creating artwork that was seen as valuable, that really launched the Children's Art Gallery into a lot of other spheres. Naturally, I think because we're advocating for access for better art for kids, that means that we're also advocating for better education. That means that we're also advocating for better health care for children as well.